What's up, guys? Nice man, yeah. Welcome to the day I am below. Research institution. I am your host, Professor Istack. So in this video, I am showcasing once again the sorceress, but this time there's some style points going on here, right? And it's maybe it's a little expensive because there are three perfect facets, and I was gonna say maybe it's a little less expensive than my previous build. Uh, which I think it still is. The last build was wielding infinity. This build has no infinity on it on either the character or the mercenary But I do have three perfect light facets going on here. All right Because I decided to pop on ourselves a crescent moon sword With the negative 35% enemy lightning resistance on it now what would probably be better would be a six socketed crystal sword with six perfect facets but i wanted to try this out for a minute and i have a shotgun with nothing in it for style points now act like i'm not wearing a maras right because i am bypassing my elemental resistances because i'm using energy shield so what would be better than maras would be a plus three to lightning skills amulet as long as you have your poison res maxed out so I don't have a 3 to Lightning Seals amulet, so I'm going to be wearing a Marrows in this case. So really my damage is taking a bit of a nerf, if anything. Well, it is taking a nerf, and I'm ignoring the resistances, so factor that in, right? And I'm wearing a Viper Mage with a rune in it, Mage Fist, uh, FCR Ring, a GG one at that, an Arach, Stone of Jordan, Silk Weaves from Manor After Each Kill, and this. Pretty cool item here. Headhunter's Glory. Nobody uses it, basically, because it's just it just falls short, basically, of Storm Shield and Spirit and things like that. But it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, I could use a bit of a buff, I think, so more would use it. But yeah, it's just kind of a fun thing to make a sort of hybrid shield out of. Because in most cases, you'd want to have a J-Mod or something like that with four sockets to have an additional facet. But nonetheless, you do get life after each kill. You get some fire res and poison res, which I'm ignoring the fire res because I'm using energy shield. You do get a lot of defense on it, and that's pretty much the only benefit over J-Mod, which isn't much at all, especially seeing how I'm using energy shield. So I put three perfect facets in there. My Nova damage. Here it is without those two items. It's 3778. And then with the two items, it's 3882. So not not much of a uh, damage increase at all, but what is really happening here is I'm getting a lot of lightning pierce. So I'm at negative 50. I go from 0 to negative 50. So it's almost the lightning pierce I was getting from infinity, but I'm no longer uh, taking advantage of the conviction aura. But let's see how well this does against the frigid highlands, for example. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. Like the video if you will. Hit the thumbs up button and become a channel member or a patron if you want. Links in the description below. And may blessings be had to those who support the Aes Sedai. Uh, one thing that I'm definitely missing out on is the massive pierce I would get from Infinity on all enemies who are not uh, a lightning immune that is broken by the Sunder Charm that I have in my inventory. Because I'd be... I'd be doing, piercing in a hell of a lot more. But that was actually alright. Killed shit okay right there. Let's see how well it kills shit. And the Chaos Sanctuary. Gonna kill the Thick Boy. Can kill the Thick Boy. Gonna kill the Ghost. It can kill the Ghost. Uh, these guys are all light immune, aren't they? But I do have my Sunder Charm on. Oh my god! Uh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, man. Yeah, yeah. But what do you guys think about this build? What I think I would like to try is a six-socketed uh, thing. A six-socketed thing in the main hand. I do need another FCI ring. Let's see if I find one. Let's see if that is. First off. GG armor. Nope. Uh, I might want to try the other thing. So I'm going to try the other thing in just a moment here. Look at that, defense. Defense. 
Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool that you uh, gain life from killing shit. It's actually helping me significantly right now because I am losing a lot of life uh, because my poison res is maxed out. Hell yeah. Thanks to the Headhunter's Glory. Uh, without it, it's only up 52. But you could probably have on Sandstorm Track. You get a nice uh, light res or uh, poison res off that. Stop, why so? I always wanted to have an Amazon with a Headhunter's Glory with three light facets. Just because it'd be crazy style points or something like that. And the life per kill would be really nice with the Javazon because they just kill hordes of demons with one click, basically. And undead and everything else. So basically, really help keep your life up. Uh, and it'd be... I mean, if you're looking for like a max res build that wears Enigma, that wears Griffins... You could probably reach a better breakpoint, but well, you certainly could. Uh, that wears Titan's Revenge, if you wanted to go that route. You could use Headhunter's Glory and put... Ah, yes. Jewels in it. Alright. Yeah, I just like... I mean, it'd be a cool shield for something like that. More so than this build, I think. Uh, because Ah, yes, breakpoints are huge. Uh, especially with the Javazon. And you could achieve them... With Enigma, with Griffins, you can still reach those high break points. Of course, I do like to wear T-Stroke. Uh, maybe not so much in D2R. Because you do have to repair them a lot. I am I need mana. Okay, so I'm kind of curious to see how well... I need mana. Hold on. Not enough mana. How well the other thing performs. Let's try out the other thing in just a moment here. Where's Satan? The hell? Where's Satan? Are you kidding me? I killed the Saiyans, right? No! Got him? GG Green Help? GG Maul? Oh my god! Look at that hog! Hog of a ball. Hog of a helmet. Okay, Nova. Or, uh, static. Look at the static. Get him. Come on. Come on, big boy. Satan goes down. Alright, so I'm gonna try this really quick like with the other thing, alright? I'll show you the other thing in just a moment here. But look how cool the Vayman looks uh, right here in the character screen. Look at the Headhunter's Glory Shield. Looks pretty cool. So I'm going to pop on a six Good to see faceted uh, thing. Look at that. Negative 30 to enemy light res, so five less than what uh, the other thing offers. Crescent Moon. But it, in addition it gains plus 30 to lightning skill damage. So here's where I was at, 37.78, and now I'm at 4,000. Alright, but I'm piercing 5% less. Greetings. GG bow. I'm gonna hold on to that bow, in fact. In fact, I'm gonna go put that bow in the stash. Cute little bow. I'm gonna up that shit. Alright, so let me try the Frigid Highlands. Faster. Looks like it's better. Oh my god! A little faster. Let me try... Let's see if I... Okay, here's some ciggies. Some ciggies right there. Pretty good. There are more right there. Fanaticism. Oh! Dumbass! You damn toad. Uh, this will be difficult. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it. Look how slow the cast is now. Come on. Get him, Merc. I gotta distract him, so I gotta do. Strategy and shit. Some strategy. Static. Okay, now go get it. Where's it at? Oh, shit. Further away than I thought. Come on! Yes! Holy shit, that was close. Okay. Back in business. Pretty sure this thing's a little better. But let me know uh, in the comments which thing you think is better, alright? And stay tuned for more videos. Be showcasing more things. Alright. Gonna show you guys a bunch of things on here. Alright. Ice Boy has some interesting things to show. On video. I will be showing more things on video. Um, I don't know if this is faster or not. I mean, it, it probably is. You kidding me, dog? I think this is a little faster. Hey, he's up. But, I don't think it beats in- no way it beats infinity. You gotta have the infinity in hand. Uh, where you can fully take advantage of that nice lightning pierce. Uh, and the conviction arm, of course. Did I kill the Zays? Yep! I'm thinking about trying some of the Hell 2 mod. The other one, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some of that. Uh, looks like a good time, looks like a damn good time. Uh, I, I've barely even looked into it though. But from the little bit I've seen, uh, it looks like it's up there with Belzebub. I mean, shit, it might be bigger than Belzebub. I would speculate it is. I think it's actually bigger than the Belzebub mod. Never played it. There he- oh! Got him. Yeah, I would bet it's bigger than the Belzebub mod. I'll have to doubly check. Yep, double check that shit though. All right, time for Satan. Time for Diablo, Diab, Diab, Diablo, 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 Diablo. Come on. Ooh, a small charm. Uh, one that can be re-rolled. Rerollable small charm right there. What do you need? Maybe I'll reroll that shit. Oh! Fire res. Fire res 11. Max out fire res. Yeah, but I'm thinking about... I'm fixing to play me some of that Hell 2 mods. Let me know if you guys want to see some videos on that. And let me know in the comments if you ever played that. But I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.